Hello, Mordorim here. In today's video, I want to talk about the best early to mid game motivity weapons in Lies of P. Looking at just the weapons provided to us for the stat will make one quite sad. But assembling allows for the creation of combinations far stronger than anything provided to you by the baseline option. I tested a lot of stuff for builds and found some interesting combinations that work really well without any amulets, P organ upgrades, or specific setups. The created weapons allow for faster and smoother movesets that ultimately lead to a much more enjoyable playthrough. I will be showcasing mid to end game weapon setups in a separate video to prevent spoilers. Now for those of you that are starting out the game currently, the game allows you to build weapons after beating the second boss, the Mad Donkey. At this point you will have gathered quite a few weapons already, allowing for your first combinations to truly shine. Now with the introduction out of the way, let's talk about the first combination. So how could I not talk about the electric coil stick head? This weapon can be obtained very early in the game, does not need to be combined, has a motivity C scaling which is quite good and deals electric damage. Electric damage is exceptionally good versus puppets and well basically any other enemy in the game because it increases the stagger damage enemies take. Once the second boss is beat, we can combine the head of this weapon with the police baton handle. The NPC or gene in the Hotel Krat can assemble weapons. You can also do this at the Stargazer. Just select the weapon, change to the handle, and then we're going to use the Krat police baton handle. The moveset of this specific weapon is exceptionally strong. It allows to charge up one specific attack and then use a charge attack to deal devastating damage to enemies. We can further combine this one with the electric charge of the weapon. So you can charge the handle, charge the weapon and now deal electric damage quite a lot at that. It deals insane amounts of damage versus puppets and will stagger specific enemies very very fast. So it's one of the best combos you can run early game. I showcased this weapon extensively in my electric baton video. So make sure to check this one out for additional information on how to obtain this weapon and how to use it. In the factory after the third boss you will be able to find two incredible weapons that allow for some top tier end game to mid game combinations. For this we are going to combine the Krat police baton handle with the booster glaive blade. This one features a lot of physical damage as well as extended reach. This will help immensely with the baton handle. You will have much more range so you are not going to miss as much. You can charge up the blade and deal devastating damage with the charge attacks. You can combo this one however often you like. So that's the base feature of the police baton handle. Now we can further combine this one with the fire axe handle. For this weapon I highly recommend a crank to increase the motivity scaling to B so you're not going to lag behind in damage as much. The moveset of this weapon features wider sweeping strikes so you can hit multiple enemies. You're also less likely to miss because of the extended handle range. The charge attack of this one has a dash attached to this one so it's very easy to hit enemies with this. However the charge attack has a quite long wind up so you are most likely not going to combo this one back to back like with the police baton handle. As for the blade fable art we are also looking at the dash with a ton of damage attached to this. It's a two hit combo so we can sadly not buff our blade and then benefit throughout the whole combo. Only the first hit will get the increased damage from the police baton handle. I use this specific combination with the fire axe and the blade throughout basically the first half of the game. The next weapons are boss weapons which can be obtained by trading in boss ergo at Alidaro. The first one I want to show you is the 7 coil spring sword. This one features a faster moveset and wide sweeping strikes as well as a strong charged attack. However the charge attack has a drawback. It's AOE and doesn't deal much damage as well as stagger damage. This weapon specifically has a counter attack that deals a ton of stagger damage, can be used to perfect guard even red attacks. And we have a range Excalibur style attack. I really like this move and it staggers enemies quite a lot. So we can combine this one with our charge attack and then fatal attack enemies. This greatsword specifically has a fast attack moveset so it's usable throughout the whole game however it lags a little bit in damage. The damage reduction rate of this specific blade is also not 70% only 61 so it's lagging behind other greatswords. Another really strong attack for this weapon is the dash attack as well as the dodge attack which is a stab. So you can dodge and then stab enemies, extending its reach and it's really really nice to have as a specific bosses. The holy sword of the arc is another boss weapon obtained by trading in boss ergot Alidaro. As with the previous weapon we are looking at a unique moveset. The light attack has uppercut sweeping strikes, the charge attack has a combo moveset so we can charge two attacks back to back which deals quite a lot of stagger damage. The roll attack and the dash attack are both sweeping strikes but there is a twist to this weapon. Guarding and pressing the fable out button will extend the blade's handle. 
This will change the moveset. We are now looking at a faster moveset with a lot more range. The range of this weapon is huge. The moveset is fast and you can combine this one with the storm slashes like so. This will stagger most enemies in the game and you can follow up with charge attacks very easy. If you want to change this moveset, you can extend or collapse the handle. Both will consume a fable charge. Overall, this one is a great option throughout the whole game. It is a little bit on the heavier side with 21 weight, so you need to invest in capacity if you want to use the defensive parts, but otherwise an incredible weapon. The next weapon is based on the bone cutting saw, which can be combined with a multitude of weapon handlers throughout the whole game. It offers incredible range, base damage and a great innate strength scaling, making it deal more damage than the booster glaive blade. It can be found in the Malum district in a chest in a big area with the club hands mini boss. At this point in the game you will be able to combine this one with two weapon handles we have previously discussed. One of which is the fire axe handle and the other one is the crad police baton handle. Both movesets carry over, the crad police baton handle will deal a little bit more damage you're trading in range with the police baton handle for damage, especially with the charge attack. For the fire axe there is hyper armor for one specific hit. You can use this opening to charge the blade and follow up with a charge strike. The range on this one is incredible. But we can also combine this one with the crad police baton handle. Now the advantage of this one is we get extended range on all our strikes so we can actually hit enemies outside their range and our charge attack is still extremely fast and deals quite a lot of damage. We don't get the boost forward however we can use the handle art to boost the strike to deal insane amounts of damage. It's like 50% more. The stagger damage is also increased quite substantially, so we can combine this one with P-Organ upgrades to deal a ton more stagger damage. I personally preferred this specific weapon for basically the mid game, but it can further be upgraded with other handles, which I will showcase in another video. Now this sums up the early to mid game portion of the weapon progression for motivity weapons in Lies of P. The next video will cover the second part of the mid game, as well as the very end of the game. There are some incredible weapon upgrades available to you, so make sure to check this video out. Anyway, make sure to leave a like if you liked what you saw. Leave a comment if you have any questions or remarks, subscribe if you haven't already, and you can join the channel membership or leave a donation if you have the spare coin. So, see you next time and bye.